Hello everyone, it's Amina Jaman, Art Director of International Filmmaker Festival of New York, IFFNY. This is a Jubilee Online Edition. I can't wait to talk to Andy Stevenson, a director of a short documentary down the road. He will tell us about his film, making of this film, and premiere of this film. Hi, Dennis! Hi, everyone, thanks for joining. Hi, we have viewers from everywhere in the world. Yes, I can't wait <laughs> to. So he, his documentary is really beautiful with vintage cars, motor cars. Hey, Andy, there you are. Let me invite you. Andy Stevenson. Hold on, not you. <laughs> I almost invited another person. <laughs> to this chat. Come on, Andy. Tell us about your documentary. Hi. Hey, how are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, of course. I mean, this is my job. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's great to be here, though. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate you You uh, sending out all the link to, to all of us filmmakers. It's, it's really it's a great thing to be part of. Yeah, so you're... Very excited, right? Yeah, yeah, super excited to be. Super, that's how I wanted to put it in words, yes. So, I watched your short documentary. It's so beautiful. I love the cars. I love the passion, you know, of the main hero. So, uh, tell me, do you love old cars yourself? Absolutely, yeah. So, that I mean, that's kind of how it all started, really. I um, Yeah, I, I used to own a, a, a classic car myself. And that's how I met Alan, uh, and, he, and he was just so generous and so kind to me over the years, and the, the torment I had with the car, <laughs> um, that, uh, yeah, I, I, he, I, like, and as you'll see in the film, like, he's such a, a generous character, he's such a, such a gentleman, um, I thought, well, I'd love to make something with you, and just by circumstances it, it, it arose that, that we could make the film about this so I thought it would be a, a great little homage to, to his, his business and his passion, you know. Yes, and you captured uh, those incredible and exclusive cars in your documentary. I mean, I don't think anyone else has such cars in their films. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty lucky, pretty lucky to, to, to get to... Uh, be in and amongst those those beautiful cars, and um, yeah, there's a lot of them are very rare, and uh, yeah, they're they're really stunning pieces of machinery, you know. Mm -hmm. And which car is your favorite? <laughs> um, in the film, so I was I was lucky enough to 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 be very close to a lot of really old cars throughout my time, sort of uh, just ha even hanging out with Alan, um, but in the film. I have to say I love Alan's car. I think Alan's car is is really beautiful, and it's it's he's he, you know he's maintained them so so perfectly. Um, but yeah, I think his his Triumph GT6 is is a, a really great car. What about uh, in life, like any car, you know? Ooh, all... that's, a, that, that's, a, that's a good question. Imagine you can buy any car you want. Yeah, that is, that's tough. Uh, you'll have to come back to me when I have the money. <laughs> but, uh, I, no, just imagine. I think, <laughs> I, think, real. I think like an old, like when really old school <laughs> Lamborghini uh, uh Miura or like just some of the old Italian sports cars are, are absolutely gorgeous or even I mean Aston Martin as well I could I wouldn't say no you know <laughs> to Aston Martin yeah 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 they're uh, but that's it I mean that's kind of what the whole film is about is about this like these, the beautiful design and the all the the old school um thought and and time that went into the design of these cars in a time when you know there wasn't really any 3D modeling, there was no digital way that they could, you know, uh, project the cars before they were even built. So they had to just build these cars kind of on instinct. And uh, yeah, that, I, like that's that's part of the reason why I made the film is it's kind of this nostalgic um, look back into 
what it what it took to make those cars and and um, and even you know what it takes to maintain them. Uh, Alan is an incredibly talented craftsman, and you know he it was it was part of the the inspiration for shooting with him was was you know just witnessing his skill and and his um, his attention to detail and, and his his curiosity and and, and just passion for you know even he you know alan like i I hope he's watching (laughs) but uh you know alan 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 would like build his own tools for for cars like because a lot of those cars you can't get the tools for them anymore because they're so old and they were so the, the tools were designed specifically for individual cars back then so you know, Alan would like make his own tools and and to, to work on it to, to fix things, and it was I, I found it fascinating just seeing the craftsmanship that that went into it. So that's kind of what inspired me to to want to film him, and also you know he's such a great character um, that uh, yeah he's he's impossible not to love, <laughs> you know. And you know my uh, favorite car like. Uh... Is uh, Pierce Arrow, you know? Oh Pierce yeah, Arrow. yeah, <laughs> brilliant! Yeah, I love it. <laughs> they don't make such cars anymore. No. You know, when you watch uh, the Great Gatsby, you know, you know that period uh, <laughs> films, and you see the cars, and you're like, my God, these cars are like you know movies back then. Uh, exactly. They didn't have technology, but uh, the um, ideas, the design is is just incredible. And now yeah. they have everything, and they don't make such incredible and unique cars. What's it's going that, on? Yeah. It's the same with films, you know. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, it's it's. I mean, it's funny. I I do wonder, like, will in in a hundred years time or in eighty years time, will people look back on today's cars in the same way that we look back on? No, <laughs> they don't make it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like they used to, you it's know. Hard, it's hard to know. I don't. I like. I personally also. I would agree with you. I don't. I don't think it's it's likely. But um, who knows? Maybe they will. But yeah, they they just the 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 beauty that was put into these cars. Um, yeah. And, you know the 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 time and the the I guess just the vision that they had and the and the. Exactly. The, the individuality that they had. I mean, it, you know, it was also a different time when cars were 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 not what they are today. You know, they they weren't built to be accessible to everyone. They were also, you know, comparatively very expensive to today. But they were uh, there was so there was just so much time and attention put into making these cars have their own characters and their own souls. You know, and. Um, so yeah, so it, it is, but they yeah, there's there is something about driving. I mean, and Alan Alan will attest to it. Like you know, there's something about driving an old car. You feel so close to the road. You feel it's all so, it's so mechanical that like you really feel connected to the to the car. So it's uh, it's great. But but you know the you know the sad thing that I wanted to to sort of capture as well is that you know with these kind of paradigm shifts. In technology, you you have these, you know, new 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 ways that cars are made, and and while it is brilliant that that they do that, you know, it's also there is a whole generation of people who work on the older cars and who who are a part of that older paradigm that are slowly phased out, you know, and and that's kind of what the film is about. It's about while you know, it's funny. Like the demand was for for Alan's work was still there. The problem was that he he couldn't find the people to work with him. You know, um, who who had the skill set. Um, so that's that was kind of the sad thing. I kind of thought like there's almost this kind of lost art art form um, in in this kind of paradigm shift. You know, it's. As as technology evolves, there is an older part of the paradigm that gets kind of lost, you know, that gets kind of phased out, and uh, it's I just there's kind of a, a sadness to that, or there's a nostalgia to that, you know. That... Come on, <laughs> <laughs> I'll cry. You know? I know, I know. It's Sorry, a good thing I, about I it. 
is that uh, Alan will always have a job, you know. <laughs> exactly. He's a, a unique professional, you know, and he is. <laughs> He's uh, a very talented man. But he <laughs> can make these cars work again. And he'll always have a line of <laughs> clients. So that's a good thing about that, you know. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Tell me, uh, have you seen... Uh, movie of Ford versus Ferrari. I have, yeah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, it's a great film, really great. Great performances in it, beautiful cars in it, really cool sort of, even the all of the action throughout those, those films is really well done as well, so, yes. yeah. So your documentary reminded me of that film, you know? <laughs> oh, well, that's very and, generous. <laughs> and the way uh, uh, Alan takes care of the car, you know, and kind of, Uh, talks about it as uh, about a human being, you know what I mean? So yeah, not absolutely not like to metal stuff, you know, or motor car, but uh, as to a friend, you know. So that's why the car, you know, is incredible and in a great shape, you know. Yeah. Uh, and your documentary really did remind me of that film, and uh, I love that period, you know, and the cars, and as I said, the movies, uh, yeah. everything. Uh, on the highest level and the imagination was absolutely fantastic you know imagination of those designers absolutely yeah I mean that was it it was a I guess it was a time there, there, there's a kind of romance to to the the, the car uh, creation of those periods you know there was a real they they really built them with such passion that that you can really feel like I mean to your point like Yeah, it's, they're almost like they're like they're babies, you know. They're 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 they care so much about about creating and maintaining these cars, and yeah, and that's only you know Alan and I would have had a lot of discussions about that kind of thing and about how you know in today's society we kind of we're we're kind of much more inclined to use and and then just throw things away, whereas of that previous generation you would maintain things, you know, you would really take care of stuff because it wasn't as disposable as it is today, you know? Mm -hmm. So, um, so yeah, so I, I love that as well. I love that kind of uh, just attention to detail and attention to, to care. Uh, and I think Alan has that in spades. He's, he's, he's so, and you know, the thing about Alan as well is that like, he's so, He's so curious to, to, it's not just cars, it's, it's everything. He has such a curious mind and it's, it, you know, he, he, he has applied that to the, the, um, the motor industry, um, but he's, you know, he's able to do everything. It's, I love that attitude, that kind of, um, you know, just a real curiosity for life and for, for doing, doing things, you know. <laughs> um, like um, a surgeon? And, uh, you know, a car is like a patient, you know, and he knows everything inside. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Right? Yeah, no, and that's it, you know, it is. There, is. there is that thing, and he talks about sort of, you know, in modern cars, you would have, like, diagnostics tests, and you, you just plug a computer in, and, and his whole approach is that you, you as an individual human have to be able to kind of diagnose the car yourself through everything kind of from hearing the the tone of of the engine to to different smells and everything you know so it's 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 such a skill and i guess that's what the film is is kind of about it's it's about just the i guess what's lost when when we move on from that to a different phase of of uh society and, and technology and um, yeah, so i think uh alan uh, can uh do diagnostics via eye touch <laughs> exactly exactly <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly that's it yeah so yeah. Um, have you ever been to uh, a museum uh automotive museum peterson museum uh in la i It's haven't a of famous cars Oh, no, I haven't, but I said... Yes, and you know, uh, the most incredible part of it is James uh, Hetfield's cars. So he gave these cars to that museum, uh -huh. and it's fantastic. You can't even take pictures of them, but he made yeah. a... 
photo book and uh, you can watch it you know you can look at those cars yeah, online, yeah. Uh, Very good. Book, you know incredible photographs incredible cars design is absolutely wild yeah. i really love that really really so i highly recommend you go to that museum yeah, i'd love to yeah I'll, i'll check it out for sure it, uh... it's, really, it's like peterson's automotive uh, museum and there is also another museum in a uh, miami also uh, uh you know it's filled with cars from different films you know yeah, yeah. cars yeah. <laughs> and others <laughs> it's really really exciting like um uh ghostbusters <laughs> yeah 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 all that but well, maybe maybe someday alan's car will be in one of those museums yes absolutely <laughs> that would be great alan i don't know if you're still there but uh yeah i've just donated your car to a museum <laughs> yeah i mean uh there are really uh exclusive pieces not just yeah. from films but also like uh elvis presley's car yeah. you know <laughs> yeah they don't <laughs> make such cars anymore and i mean he drove only that car you know <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah someone has like similar but like only <laughs> that car has his presence spiritual presence yeah, so yeah. i mean i don't drive and i don't uh plan to <laughs> have life like a, a, you do you live in you live in new york right so you probably don't Oregon, Moscow. okay so, right okay. Uh, but i don't plan to drive you know yeah. uh, i was interested in driving but i can really appreciate cars uh you know cars as piece of art you know yeah, yeah yeah and that's it and that's kind of what part of what the film is about is that that they are kind of this capsule of of art from that era that was also functional you know it also did a job and it did it 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 was a it was a piece of enjoyment you know and uh yeah and it represents that period of time so that's yes. uh that's kind of why why I love them why they're they're just they they become iconic you know they become diff- different types of cars um and yeah it's just they're just so cool <laughs> like that, I don't know I, I don't know how else to describe it like they're um they're really just wonderful machines you know yes yeah, so thank you so much yeah uh, no- and you for sharing your passion and yeah. you know talking about your documentary uh down the road uh, i highly recommend everyone to watch it you're going to love it even if you don't love cars you're going to love that documentary <laughs> and if well, you love cars you're going to be just amazed you know uh, and it's such you. a beautiful work and uh, i mean it really stands out Thank you so much. I it's such a it's such a privilege to be part of the uh the festival. So thank you thank you so much for for presenting it and uh yeah, I hope everyone who watches it enjoys it. Yes, they will no doubt. Great. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Great. Because if you ask Gwen Stefani, she will say no doubt, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so good luck and uh, success to you to this uh, documentary and to your uh, upcoming works. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure talking to you. Thanks a million. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Bye. Bye.